What's going on, guys, and welcome to another Biscuit Vlogs. Uh, we're working with a little bit of a new format here, so let me know if you like it or you don't. Uh, I'm going a little bit live, a little bit off the cuff, so expect errors and, and random cuts and things like that. <laughs> so anyways, what we're talking about today is what appears to be the biggest news story of the weekend. Well, by far, it doesn't appear to be. It is. And that is the Trump tapes. The, the the final piece of evidence that everybody who hates Donald Trump needed to end this campaign, right? Well, what were they? Well, it's a series of audio recordings from the year 2005 where Donald Trump, stupidly, I might add, st uh, was, was having a conversation with a mic still clipped onto him, not thinking that, oh, the mic might still be recording because, again, moron. But let's, let's take a look at the fucking tape first and we'll see what we got going. She wanted to get some furniture. I said, I'll show you where they have some nice furniture. <laughs> I took her furniture. I moved on her like a bitch, but I couldn't get there. And she was married. And all of a sudden, I see her. She's now got the big phony tits and everything. She's totally changed her look. She's your girl's hot as shit in the purple. Whoa. Whoa. Yes. Whoa. Oh, yes, the Donald Escort. Whoa. Oh, my man. Wait, wait. You got to look at me when this you get out of your life. Set this up. That is very you give me the thumbs look up? at you. You are a piece. You got to put the thumbs up. <laughs> All right, so before we go any further, really quickly, what have you heard so far? What you heard so far was Donald Trump saying, basically, he tried to fuck some woman. Uh, he bought her furniture. He spent money on the woman. And then he, and then he realized, she, I didn't get anywhere, and she was married. Didn't work out. Right? So basically, what we have so far is just a bunch of dudes talking about a girl that one of said dudes tried to fuck, and it didn't work out. All right, let's keep going. You and I will walk around. Maybe it's a different one. Better not be the phone. No, it's, it's her. It's yeah, that's her. With a girl. I'm going to use some Tic Tacs just in case they start kissing her. Yeah, yeah, the Trump campaign responded. We know. You know, I'm automatically attracted to beautiful. I just start kissing them. It's like a magnet. You just kiss. I don't need to wait. And when you're a star, they let you do it. You can do anything. Whatever you want. Grab them by the pussy. <laughs> I can do anything. <laughs> okay. How do you not laugh? <laughs> How could you not laugh at that? Okay. He was, first of all, before we even get to the grab them by the pussy part, he was, just, he was, he was like, I'm just so attracted to beautiful women. Yeah, I'm pretty sure most straight men on the face of the earth are attracted to, well, whatever their personal definition of beautiful woman happens to be. So, so far up to that point, nothing uh, offensive or egregious at all, right? And then, and then he's, he's, he's going back and forth with, with, with this guy and he's saying, you know, um, well, you know, it, it even helps. I'm, I'm paraphrasing here. You guys just saw it, but he goes, well, you, I'm, "I'm famous, right? I'm Donald Trump. I, I can I can almost do whatever I want, and they don't even care. I can grab them by the pussy for all I care." W what people took out of out of that sentence, "grab them by the pussy," the word you see on the screen right now, what they took out of that sentence was, "Oh my God, Donald Trump is roaming the streets, just grabbing women by the pussy, <laughs> twirling his evil mustache." <laughs> And then running off into the shadows to find the next woman to grope. You fucking morons. Of course that's not what he's doing. He's making a joke. All right. How many conversations? All right. Just this is this is just straight to the guys watching right now. How many conversations have you been in with just your just your bros when you're just hanging out anywhere, having a beer or watching TV or, or, or just any random time when you're hanging out with your friends and you're like, you know, you know, the other day I, I tried to fuck this girl and then we were talking for, for like a couple of weeks and then after a couple of weeks she tells me, oh, I got a boyfriend so I told her to go fuck herself. I, I took her out on a date and everything. How many times do you have those conversations? That shit happens all the time. Do you know why? Because friends talk about what happened in their life. He's not, he's not bragging about raping women. He's just saying that, well, you know, I'm fucking rich, bro. You know how easy it is for me to get laid? I'm Donald fucking Trump. He was just bullshitting. But, of course, the regressives in this country, the way they have to be fucking freaked out about everything and everything is offensive. Oh, my God. He's a sex offender. 
No, he's not. It was a joke. I don't understand how many times I have to repeat that. And the funny part about this is, I know people, I've seen people on YouTube, and I've spoken to people personally who dislike and in some cases hate Donald Trump. And even these people have told me, you know, it, I don't understand why people are freaking out about this. It's just, he was just bullshitting. It was banter. If, if you really dislike Donald Trump and you really hate him and, you know, you want to do everything in your power to not see him in the White House, there are plenty of other things you could attack about, about his policies and, and anything he's put forth about what he wants to do if he were to win. You don't need to try to twist a joke that he made into, into him all of a sudden advocating for rape. What, what universe do you live in where making a joke is admitting and advocating for rape? Are you out of your mind? I've even seen women in Facebook comment sections, and if you guys know anything about me, if, if you guys have been around a while in the streams and in the Discord, one thing about me is you know I like to start some shit on the internet. So I've even seen women in these threads say, you know what, even, even me, I'm not even a man, and we say some pretty fucked up things when we see a dude that we think is attractive, you know, walking around. You know, everybody says these things. It's just people being humans, all right? The, the problem is... I think, at least to me. And if you guys, again, if you guys have, have hung out with me and, you know, on the streams and stuff and you know anything about me, you know that I'm a Donald Trump supporter, right? He's got my vote. Isn't, unless, unless it comes out that he fucking shot some dude in the face or, or actually legitimately <laughs> raped someone or something, this is, there's nothing you people could really tell me that will make me not want to vote for him. But I think what people are taking at it, what, what, why they're focusing on stupid bullshit like this from, this was 2005, from 11 years ago. Why they feel the need to focus on stupid bullshit like this is because outside of the stupid bullshit, there's nothing to criticize, at least from their standpoint. They can't make a good enough argument. And I'm not saying it's impossible to make that argument. You could say, well, let, let's take the wall, for example. Uh, the wall, he wants to build a wall between here and Mexico, and he, you know, it's, it's too expensive, and it's never going to work, and they're just going to get in here anyway, and, and it's racist because he's, he's just doing it because he doesn't like Mexican. You can, you can argue about that, right? But they're not arguing about that. They're arguing about some bullshit joke he made in private, mind you, 11 fucking years ago. How many, how many of you can sit there and honestly tell me in private you haven't said the most fucked up things to your friends. You guys know my buddy uh, Overnight, who's always, Jimmy, who's always on the streams with me. I, I go to his channel and leave a comment and just ask him, be like, how, how often do you and Biscuit, like, do you, do you two say, like, on a scale of one to ten, how bad, like, the jokes that you make to each other when you're just hanging out, how bad are they? He will tell you himself, like, a fucking thousand, dude, all right? Because when, when, you're, when you're having a private conversation... When you're making a fucked up joke, which even this I don't really think is a fucked up joke, it's just a joke. But when you're making a fucked up joke with between you and your friend, you will go that extra step to be extra fucked up to evoke that reaction out of your friends. Because you know they know you don't really think that way. You, you know, if you make like the most racist joke or whatever it is, the most fucked up kind of thing you can think of to make a joke to make your friend laugh. They know you don't actually feel that way. About whatever you're talking about. They know you just want to get a rise out of them. Because you're hanging out. You're having a good time. That's all it is. Nobody can stand there and tell me that in private. You haven't done that. If you say that. You're fucking lying. And you're just doing it. Because you have a, a blinding hatred. Of Donald Trump. But like I said. There are. There are. He does have legitimate criticisms. As does Hillary Clinton. I seen a really great post. We're getting a little bit off track here. But I seen a really great post on Facebook recently. That was. That was just just being general, saying you know, uh, I, I this person was saying I hate how everybody just gets their news from memes on Facebook. They see a headline on Facebook and they take that as gospel, and, and that's that's how they choose you know who they're supporting in this presidential election. And I agreed. I, and I, as far as I know, this person doesn't like Donald Trump, but I agreed with that. I was like, you know, people. That's what people do. They they hear somebody else say. In fact, my comment was. People have made their decisions around this election based on seeing somebody else on Facebook saying either, you know, Donald Trump is a racist, he's a sexist, or on the other side, you know, Hillary Clinton is is evil or, or you know, something crazy about Hillary Clinton. 
as opposed to when you see somebody say that, like the smart reaction would be, well, why are people saying things about like, if, especially if you if you don't really follow politics, let's just say none of this is relevant to you, but you see people saying these things. I would think the smart thing to do would be, you know, let me go open a tab on Google and type in, you know, Donald Trump racism or whatever. And let me see what pops up. Let me see what people are talking about. Let me see if they're audio clips. Let me hear the whole clips. Right. Or, you know, people are saying are saying Hillary Clinton is evil. Well, let me type in, you know, or they're saying she's corrupt. Let me type in Hillary Clinton corruption. Let me make a judgment based on all the pertinent information I can find as to whether or not these claims are true or, or how true they are. Right. That would make sense to me. The, the whole problem with this election is people see things like this where they, they just like if you look at the front page of, of uh, I think it was the, the, the New York Times. It was just it was just in big fucking quotes, grab him by the pussy, which I, I think that's the first time the word pussy has ever been on the front of the newspaper. So congratulations, Donald Trump. <laughs> you you've gotten the word pussy on the front of the newspaper. I'm proud of you. But <laughs> but the problem with that is they see they hear somebody on the news saying, well, he's a, he's talking about, well, you know, he's saying these horrible, egregious things about women. It was just a joke. If you listen to it, we just listened to it. If you listen to the fucking audio clip, it's plain to see that it was a joke. All you need to do is listen to these things for yourself and make a judgment, right? And maybe, maybe I'm making the wrong thing and maybe you take something else out of this. I'd love to hear in the comments while we're talking about it. If you do take something else out of it. And I seen something else. I know I just keep pulling up the Facebook comments I've seen, but this one is relevant. I saw another Facebook comment that was like, well, I, I guess I guess you wouldn't mind if Donald Trump said these things about your, you know, your mother, your sister, your girlfriend, your wife, whatever. See, here's the thing about that. When people are talking shit, they're just words. If somebody comes up to you and says, oh, I fucked your mom, I don't give a fuck. Did you actually fuck my mom? No, you didn't. You're just being an asshole. Somebody comes up to me, oh, I want to fuck your mom, Okay. You're not going to. <laughs> what What do I care? It's a joke. None of this. Ma- oh, I, I would love to fuck your girlfriend. All right, guess what you're not going to do? Fuck my girlfriend. Like, I don't care. These are jokes. These are words. They're only words. They only they only obtain weight once you assign weight to those words. You understand? That's, that's, that's what I think people fail to understand. I think we're losing nuance in, here in America. Because people just see words thrown up on the screen, like, grab them by the pussy, and they just fucking explode without even processing the sentence and the context in which the sentence was used and his tone of voice. So many things go into language other than just the words. Nobody understands this anymore, and that's a big problem to me. And that, that alone is worth, to me, is worth electing Donald Trump for, because... I like, and I know a lot of other people, even if he has lost votes, which is totally possible from this, but I, like a lot of other people, are tired, or am tired of this outrage, rage, excuse me, culture that we have been living in for several years now, where you say anything, you, you say a joke or whatever it is, you say something and people take it completely out of context, or, you know, you say, you say one off-color joke and... Oh my God, he hates all women. He's a racist. He hates blacks. He hates Mexicans. He hates, you know, he hates all Muslims. You say one fucking thing and all of a sudden you're all these kind of isms and, and, and ists and all these fucking things. Nobody can just listen to the context of what you've said and then determine what you meant. It doesn't work that way anymore. It's, he said a naughty word. Everybody freak out. And I think, now, this could go one of two ways. Either... If in, in the event that Donald Trump wins, this could go one of two ways. Either electing him shows these people that, well, it shows the regressives, as they've been called, is that people actually are tired of that kind of a, that kind of a culture, and we're done with it, and you need, you're, you know, you, you can't go around policing what people are saying anymore. Or, and this is the one I've been thinking about a lot recently, that I think has a very real possibility of happening, happening is these people become martyrs, like your feminists and your social justice warriors. These people are going to become martyrs, and they're going to go, see, look, this is why we need to do these things. This is why we need to act the way we act. Look, they elected a fucking racist, sexist maniac. Why? We were right all along. This country is, is, this country is racist. This country is sexist. We told you, and you didn't listen to us. Look what happened. So I, I, it's going to go one of two ways. I think those are the two extremes. 
I don't. It, it, that's in the case that he wins, and I just mean, I don't mean in I, you know with the state of the country. I just mean the mentality of the people of the country. I think those are the the only two ways it could end up. But either way, uh, that was the tape. You guys saw it. Uh, so yeah, you guys let me know if you think this was fucking crazy. I don't really. I don't know if it'll end his campaign. I don't think it will, but. I have seen an article showing all the people, all the politicians, I should say, that are officially withdrawing their support for Donald Trump after seeing this. I mean, nobody really cares, if you ask me, because you can withdraw all the fucking support you want. You can't stop me from casting my own vote, right? So, I don't know. Again, you guys let me know what you think. Thanks for hanging out with me. Let me know what you think about this new format if you want me to do it more. And uh, aside from that, I will see you guys in the next vlog. And the next live stream. So, take it easy.